Um, pretty impressive. It's still very young and very big, and it's got a really good, complex, rich, ripe nose, full of uh, dusty vanilla and then deep black currant and licorice. Uh, very impressive so far. I'm a bit of a fan, I'm quite a fan actually. I think hint of eucalypt, a bit of dust, black currant, um, good acid, um, big and ripe but without being unbridled. So I thought the acid and tannin actually balances out the big fruit pretty well. Um, tannin gives good structure but it's not offensive or in your face. Um, so I actually thought it's, it's actually you know got years to go but it's quite approachable now as well. So it's actually a, a good kind of each way bet as of a wine I thought. But that to me is a very typical Coonawarra Cab Sav, my experience. But that with a nice, very, very slowly braised lamb shoulder. Some rosemary, garlic, herbs, thyme. Kitchen's right there. Cold, <laughs> cold winter's day outside, roaring fire, glass of this, lamb shoulder, sappy days. In two minds about this wine, I must admit. A bit of a mid palate hole, I don't know, something. Kind of like it. I'm just not quite certain. A lot of oak forward. I think it's certainly sound. It's, if you like the style, I'm sure you pretty like it. But I think I love the oak Odyssey so much. I think had I tried this first, I might like it slightly more. Yeah, plums, blackberries, a bit of vanilla. I've written here sexy tannins, which is a bit of a silly expression, <laughs> but really soft, right tannins. And then on the finish, if you concentrate, there's a hint of raspberries, and then apricot comes in. It's a fascinating. It's almost like when you put icing sugar on on the raspberries, sort of like a, it's not confectionery, but it's an icing sugar kind of mm -hmm. raspberry thing. And on the nose, it's all full of incredible spices. I get cardamom and all kinds of really interesting spices on the nose, which I like. It does sound sexy. <laughs> it does. It's full of aroma and flavour. It's a prickle of alcohol, warm on the palate, and tastes a touch cooked, plenty of flavour, plenty of length, just not my style. But actually, I, I don't mind it now. I wouldn't call Gavin wrong, but I don't, I don't know, I, I have, I've got a different take on this wine. Actually, I don't mind it at all. It's not everyone's style of wine, but I don't mind it. If you like basket press, yes, it's not a great vintage, but it's not a, it's not a, not a wine that I would tip down the sink for that way. Well, for the same reasons that you don't like it, are probably the same reasons that I do. Yeah. Uh, for me, that's almost what I almost expect from a Barossa Shiraz is that sort of jammy, as you said, overcooked, so it's, it's, it's riper, it's um, almost smoother. That's like, oh wow, that's smooth. Yeah.